Hey, hello, and welcome to the live sale for Wednesday, March 27th. I think it's the, uh, yeah, last one of the month. Oh, <laughs> God. Somebody else has to watch. Leo's artificially inflating our numbers by logging in on this phone. We're live. We're live. <laughs> uh, but do not forget to karate chop the like button and subscribe so you'll get notified when we go live. Mm -hmm. um, if you are new, hello. Please make sure that you fill out the Google form that Gene is putting in the chat. Um, that Google form lets us know what you're interested in, where to send your books, and if there is no Google form for you, you get no books. Um, so please make sure to fill that out. We also offer Comic Hub subscription services so you don't miss out on any of the issues that you need. If you see something that you like and you want to make sure that you get it again next time, before we even show it on here, sign up for a subscription. It's free. Uh, follow us on our social media. The link tree will be in the chat, and that includes our wonderful eBay store. Uh, we are also dropping in that Google form for back issue requests. If you are missing any back issues or keys, you can fill that out, and Ben will take a look at our warehouse to see what we can get for you. Um, if you are watching the replay, sorry we missed you. Um, if you see something that did not get claimed, have any questions about mail orders or queries in general, you can email Anthony at anthony at samuraicomics.com, or you can DM us on our social media to speak with the lovely Jean, who's way better than Anthony, frankly. <laughs> um, but that is it for the basic nitty gritty stuff. Um, we are not going to be having keys tonight. Um, the keys are all going to TCAT out in Tucson uh, this coming up week. That's on um, Saturday. Uh, it's going to be out there in Tucson. So if you are sad and missing our keys, come see us at TCAT. I hear it's a great time. Um, we also have coming up tomorrow is our feral Woo! release party. It's super exciting. From 3 to 7, we're going to have the creators for feral in here. And they're going to be doing... Um, are they doing signings or are they just kind of chatting with people up? Um, so the Phoenix Cat Cafe is coming. Uh huh. And they're just bringing over some like adoptable cats so people can. Oh, them. oh, the creators aren't coming to this one. <laughs> oh, okay, my mistake. Um, I think we had a different event where they yeah, were doing we, we that. It was real. I'm really confused. Anyway, um, they won't be there. Sorry about that. It's going to be Phoenix Cat Cafe. They're bringing in some adoptable cats. We're going to be raffling off. Um, Ooh, so they're going to be so great. So. Other side of that, if you're allergic to cats, don't come. Mm, yeah. Do not come here between 2 to 7 tomorrow and probably just come on Thursday. Um, but it's going to be a great time. We're going to be raffling off some feral goodness. It's going to be awesome. Um, for the trade highlight, we have a lot of trade stuff this week. Um, so these are just the ones that I thought you guys would like the most. Starting with um, the Complete Addiction for uh, Addiction. Complete Addiction for Sex Criminals by uh, Matt Fraction and Chip Snorky. Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, but uh, I've heard really good things about this book. Haven't gotten a chance to read it yet, but we are um, celebrating the 10th anniversary for this this week. They also sent us some really nice signed book plates for these. Um, so this is the complete edition. We have two copies and it is going for $49.99. And then in addition to that, we also have uh, Gargoyles trades, uh, the first trades for Gargoyles here in Manhattan. We have both the hardcover and the paperback came out for us at the same, uh, <coughs> same time, which is kind of cool. Um, so this is the hardcover. It's going for $24.99. And uh, this collects issues one through six of Gargoyles here in Manhattan. Very, very nice. Leo, what you got? Oh, yeah. My first book of the day is from Oni Press. <clears throat> this is Cemetery Kids Don't Die by Zach Thompson. This is issue number two, and it's going to cost you $4.99. This is cover A, and this is cover B. Oh, that's cool. I like this one. It's good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> from DC on issue number six, we have Amazon's attack. We only have variants left. No more a cover. This one is our B cover. And this one is the C cover wild shifts in tone there. Uh, but they are both going for four ninety nine. from Marvel. I have cable. This is issue number three. Uh, issue number three is going to cost you three ninety nine, And, um, uh, that's it. This is cover a. This is the Mark Brooks cover B, and this is the very nice cover C. Uh, 
Uh, from DC, we have a couple Batman reprints this week. We have reprints for all three issues uh, for the Joker Year One arc that happened last month, month before. Um, so we have uh, 142, 143, and 144. Uh, each of these are going for $4.99. Personally, I like this like reprint with the purple green covers. Like that's yeah, a nice way to. It's a way to signify yeah, yeah, it looks great. Who's calling? Hello. Hello. Can I help you? So I know that this. Oh, it's a pen and ink. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, sweet. From Boom Studios, I have a very nice pen and ink of Berserker Poetry of Madness. This is issue number one. This is going to be the A cover for the pen and ink, and the very awesome Spot UV cover. Freaking. Love. Crazy. Look at his eyeballs all popped out. It's wild. And last but not least is the blank variant. Get your Keanu Reeves autograph and Ooh, there art on there, you know? On um, issue 11 from DC, we have Batman the Brave and the Bold. We got three covers. This one is our A cover. This one is the B cover. And this one is the C cover. I love this one. The art on this like one that. is by Ashley Wood. Um, as always, this one is $7.99 on account of this is a nice fat read, nice thick one. Um, can I please get Cemetery Kids with the B cover for Joel and then a Berserker with the spot UV for Paul? Absolutely. Woo! Ow. All right, from Dark Horse, I have Black Hammer, The End by Jeff Lemire. This is issue number six. This is going to cost you $6.99. This is cover A. This is cover B. Cable C cover going to Joel. Yeah. Uh, a new one. At number one from DC this week, we've got Batman Dark Age. Uh, we got three covers for this one. This one's going to be our A cover. This one's going to be our B cover. And the C cover. This one's really, really cool. The art on this one is by Frank Quitely. Look at that detail. Those forms. Oh, I love it. Uh, variants of this one are going for $6.99. A cover is $5.99. From DC, I have Detective Comics. This is issue number 1083. This is $4.99. And this is cover A. This very nice cardstock is going to be $1 more. So it's going to be $5.99. This is cover B. And last but not least, cover C. It's also cardstock. It's a dollar more. Out. Right, Batman Dark Ages, a B cover for John, and a C cover for Paul. From Titan Comics and Heroic Signatures, we've got Conan the Barbarian, issue number nine. We got a lot of covers for this one for some reason. Usually Conan slips on under the wire, but we got plenty. So this one's going to be our A cover. This one's going to be the B cover. The C cover. The D cover. I like this one a lot. The color's really interesting. Oh, he's got e cover. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Uh, the E cover. This one's beautiful. So pretty. E cover. F cover. The virgin action. And then the G cover. Our blank sketch variant. The paper on this one is actually really interesting. I haven't seen one with this uh, this kind of paper before. Um, but these ones are going for three ninety nine each. Could an E? You got is that it. That thin, flimsy little paper. It's something else. It's like where's that E cover? Um, how do I describe this? Like it's got more tooth to it. Okay. It's got more. You feel it's got some texture. Oh yeah. It's a little Not bit like thin, yeah. yeah, it's a little bit like construction paper. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, like would definitely paper. put a guard paper underneath it if you're using like paint or alcohol marker just to be safe. Yeah. For sure. That's pretty. <laughs> All right. From Dark Horse Comics, I have The Goon. This is issue number one of four by Eric Powell. <clears throat> Goon's been around for a long time. Let's see what he's doing this time. This is the very cool cover B. I'll see these guys are running four ninety nine in case I didn't say that. The word has a different meaning now. Oh yeah, it's really 
<laughs> um, on issue number seven, that's Legacy 669. Ah, oh, it would have been so cool if it fell on Legacy 700. <laughs> so close. Um, we've got Daredevil. We've got three of these. This one's going to be the A cover. Mm, it's all right. The B cover, one of those Brooks sketch variants. This one featuring Black Widow. That's a fun one. And then our C cover. And these are going for $4.99 each. All right. From Marvel, my first Marvel book of the day, we have Gods. This is issue number four. Issue number four is going to cost you $4.99. I believe this is by Jonathan Hickman. Uh, it is. Um, not one of his books that I'm into, but I imagine it's pretty good. This is the Mark Brooks headshot. So much head this week. Uh, this is going to be uh, the C cover. Pardon my hiccup. And this is the Lord of Order, Lord Order D cover. All right. From Image, we've got Duke this week, and we've got three different issues. We've got some reprints. Yes. So we're starting with the third printing for issue number one. This one's going for four ninety nine. And then we have the second printing for issue number two. Love her. She's fun. That one is going for uh, three ninety nine. And then we have this week's issue, which is issue number four. Issue's going for $3.99. This one is our A cover. I like this one. And then this one is our B cover. Pretty sick. I got some more from Dark Horse Comics. This is Ghostbusters back in town, baby. Yeah. This is issue number one. It's going to be $3.99. This is cover A. If you guys checked out the movie yet, I'm going to go see it maybe, maybe tomorrow night. Yeah. Like That's a good one. Cover A, and I like this one. Cover B, yeah, sick. Cool. Dude, you know, cinema's going through some dark times when I don't even know there's any Ghostbusters. Right. How do they not advertise? advertise? Like, I didn't see any ads for it. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, number three from IDW, we've got Saturday Morning Adventures, Dungeons and Dragons. This is the B cover. It's all we got left, and it is three ninety nine. From Dynamite, trashing through time is the Garbage Pail Kids. This is going to be cover D of issue number four. This is the only one we got. It's poly bag because there's a really cool card in here that you can collect. Could have gotten all of them. Hopefully you did. Ghostbusters B for Java. Nice. Uh, from, who is this? Vault. We've got End After End, the special double-sized finale or issue number nine, if you want to be boring. Um, we've got two covers. This one is the A cover. And this one is the B cover. Um, as it says, these ones are double-sized, so they're a little bit more expensive, sitting at $6.99 per. From DC, I have The Flash. <clears throat> this is... Left for Dead, issue number seven. Uh, issue number seven is going to cost you three ninety nine, which is very nice because that means the card stock is only yeah. four ninety nine, which is very nice. That one's fun. I like, I like that. that the, yeah. The block letters. It's super cool. He's very alive, apparently. Poor oh, Flash. All right, here it is, the book of the hour, Woo! issue number one from Image, three ninety nine. Feral. We have three regular covers. Yes, yes. Celebrate. We have three regular covers for you this evening. This one's going to be the A cover. Personally, it's my favorite. A cover, the B cover, and one of our uh, horror homages to what? I don't know, but it still looks pretty cool. And then our C cover is the blank sketch variant. And we actually got a fair amount of these, so don't be shy about grabbing them and drawing your own. Um, Again, they're going for $3.99. Is this one different? Nope. Same price across the board. All right. Um, Feral A for Eric. Feral B for Nathan. A and C for Anna. B for Joel. 
Dawn of the Dawn Dead. Of the Dead. I stuff. had a feeling. I just looked it up. I All right. <laughs> cool. Right, those. Go for it, Liam. Let us know if you guys want more. Anybody else? Let us know. We got lots. We should all the all the all the feral crazy cats. They're waiting for us to play. It's it's, it's really it's funny because it's, you got to read the book. It's it's good. It's a funny twist. All right, from Image, I have Local Man. This is Bad Girls. This is Local Man issue number ten. This is this is some that's some sassiness right there. I think this, this is gonna is, go isn't with. this a new one? I'm pretty sure this is like a side series number one. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. That's for advertisements for Local Man number ten. So then this I is Local Man. <laughs> it's so weird, mad, yeah. Like it's hard to. So this is Local Man Bad Girls issue number one. Let's look inside. Let's see how bad these girls are. Ooh. Oh. Oh, she bad. Oh, she bad. Oh, she real bad. Okay, so they they bad. This is uh, issue number one, Bad Girls. This is cover A. This is cover B. And this is cover C. Looks like all these are going to run you $4.99. Check it out. Oh, it's a one shot. One shot. All right. Um, all right, number 10 from DC. We got Green Arrow. We got two covers. This one's the A cover. And this one's the B cover. I feel like the Green Arrow uh, variants are always kind of fun and conceptual and weird. This one is by Jorge Fornes. He's been really on it lately. Um, variant is going for $4.99, so that A cover is just $3.99. From Image, we have Philadelphia. This is issue number 34. This book is killing it, going all the distance. This is cover A. This is cover B. And cover C. All these are going to cost you three ninety nine. On number five from DC, we got Alan Scott, The Green Lantern. We got three covers. This one is the A cover. Love these classic A covers. Uh, artist is David Talaski. That's our A cover. This one's going to be our B cover. And then our C cover. Very nice. Uh, variants are going for four ninety nine. so that A cover is just three ninety nine. From Oni Press, I have Jill and the Killers. This is issue number three. Uh, issue number three is going to cost you $4.99. This is cover A. And this is cover B, which is really cool. On issue number 38 from DC, we've got Harley Quinn. Hi, D. We see you in the chat. Um, I love this cover. It's by Sweeney Boo. It's so, so cute. But all the Harley covers this week are absolute winners. So this is our A cover. It's the last we have of the A cover. So if you want it, let us know. And then we have the B cover, our Women's History Month variant. This one is by Sosa Micah. Naturally, all the babes are. Um, so there's our B cover. And then we have the C cover. This one's so stinking cute. Our on this one is by Dodson. Oh, Terry and Rachel Dodson. So uh, variants for this are going for uh, $5.99, so the A cover is just $4.99. Um, all right, so the Micah cover for Larry. And another one for Ed and Joel. And, and Campbell. <laughs> all right, caught up on that? Yep. From Marvel, I have a very cool brand new number one. This is... I'll turn this around. Jackpot, Jackpot, and Black Cat, issue number one. Woo! This is the A cover. Uh, you know, you got your MJ and, and Black Cat. You know, doing stuff, probably stealing, probably stealing shiny things. This is cover B. This is a very cool, very Sailor Mooney cover C. It is so <laughs> Sailor Mooney, right? Cover D. I like this one a lot. I think that's Tork. I'm so in love with Torque. Yeah, my thing's mixed up, so I can't really. Oh, no. It's not helpful this week. Rip. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. The E cover. The very shiny F cover. And the um, Marvel Masterpieces Hildebrandt G cover. Uh, these are almost done. We're almost done with these. A couple more left. 
Don't worry. You'll you have them all really? soon. Yeah. At least this one's got a juicy ass in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Jackpot takers. Let's see. Uh, Evan would like the foil. Yeah. Um, and then can I get a D and a G for Ed? I think that's everything. Okay. Um, we've got a reprint from DC and number one. This one is John Constantine Hellblazer, Dead in America, number one, the second printing. We only have a few left of these. If you want it, let us know. You get it. Out. <laughs> um, but yeah, only a couple of these left. It's $4.99. You guys didn't hear that, did you? What? Yeah. No. I didn't hear that. Stuff? That weird sound that I made when I was trying to rescue the books. <laughs> Jean heard it clearly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who is this guy from? From Oni Press. This has been a really crazy, crazy, scary book. And not so much scary, but like, whoa. Like, I don't even want to look through it because it's, it's so whoa. This is Invasive, issue number four from Oni Press. This is cover A, and it's the only one we have left. It's going to be $4.99. This is by Vecchio. Very nice. Very cool. Very. Yeah, scary book. <clears throat> From Marvel on issue 10 or legacy number 791, we've got The Incredible Hulk. We have three covers. This one's the A cover. <clears throat> this one is the B cover, one of our book sketch variants. I like how much space his head takes up. Um, and then our C cover. This one's wild. Um, and these are going for $3.99 each. From Image, I have the Six Fingers. This is issue number two. Issue number two is going to cost you three ninety nine. Not to be confused with its companion book, The One Hand, which is also good. I'm sure it's Image. It's going to be good. This is cover A. This is cover B. And finally, cover C with the hand. Hand. Ooh, yeah. nice. And all the way on the other side of the wall, for some reason, we also have a reprint of issue number one for six figures. Ah. It is three ninety nine. Six fingers. Six fingers. How come on the cover only has five? Maybe the guy in the middle just the sixth finger. Ah, there you go. Maybe it's all a <laughs> mind game. Um, from Dark Horse Comics on issue number four, we have Masterpiece. This is the only one on the wall. Um, and it is $3.99. All right. From Image Comic Books, I have one that we don't see very often. Savage Dragon. This is issue 269. Um, this is going to cost you $3.99. This is technically the B cover. I'm going to call it the A, that's fine. We'll call it the A. We'll call this the B. And we will call this one the C. Just have his dragon on. Dragon on. Uh, from IDW on issue number four, we have Ministry of Compliance. This is the B cover. It's the only one that we have left on the wall. I like this cover. I think this is very fun and neat. And it's going for $4.99. From Image, I got a brand new number one. This is Sam and Twitch Case Files. This is cover A. Cover A is going to run you $2.99, which is a smoking deal. Uh, this looks very, very cool. This is very, very nice, realistic kind of style art. Um, it's very detailed, and it just looks really, really pretty and clean. The night sky looks great. The, yeah, the bubbles. No bubbles, just words and dialect. Awesome. Check it out. This is cover A, and this is cover B. Sam and Twitch. Minute, since we've seen something. Um, it's like a super sleuth kind of. Yeah, well, it's in the Spawn universe. Oh, okay. Um, it's been a minute since we've seen something new yeah. coming from that. There's no no bubbles. No bubbles. Just, just words. Hmm. Uh, can I get an A of that one for Ed, please? Oh, that's why Spawn's in the background. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, also from Image on issue number 50, something we don't see on the wall too often, it's Monstrous. Uh, issue 50, we got four covers for it. This one's our A cover. This one is the B cover. 
the C cover, like all these cute little cat kids, C cover, and then the D cover. And these are going for $3.99 each. From Titan Comics, I have Rebel Moon House of the Blood Axe. This is issue number two. Number two is going to cost you $3.99, and this is the only cover we have. House of the Blood Axe is so freaking metal. Blood Axe, that's pretty, yeah. Sounds pretty metal. From Image, on issue number six, we've got Knights. I'm so excited for the trade for this one to hit. Ah! Um, but we got issue number six. Um, it is going for $3.99. Uh, this one's for the anime nerds. If you can't tell from all the Evangelion imagery, um, but this one's super duper cool. And this is that one that has the uh, the playlists for the back of each, oh, love uh, it. Love each it. issue. Love from Dark Horse, I have Quick Stops. This is issue number three. Uh, volume two. This is going to cost you three ninety nine. This is cover A, and this is cover B. The welcome cover. <laughs> oh, cows! So cows strange. creepy. <laughs> um, on issue number eight from DC, we have the Penguin. Did you see the show's finally out on um, on HBO? Um, it looks really good. But this one is our A cover, and this one is our B cover. B cover is fun. It's very strange. It's by Dustin Nguyen. Um, and it is going for four ninety nine, so the eight covers just three ninety nine. I've got a new limited series from DC. Yes. This is one of four. This is Primer issue number one. It's got a cardstock cover, but it's still the A cover by Greta Linsky. We have about four of these. So, so if you didn't sub to it, I suggest you jump on it because this is the only cover, and uh, get your chance at number one. Um, that one is one of the ones that was like a, uh, like a kid's graphic novel, but now they're publishing like as oh, yeah, a single issue like, for a little while. Still looks yeah. Because the art of a kid's book. The art's gorgeous. Um, all right. On issue number seven from DC, we've got Power Girl. We've got five covers. This one is the A cover, the B cover. The C cover, the D cover, and our Women's History Month variant, and then the E cover, also a Women's History Month variant. I actually flipped through this for the first time with this issue. I didn't realize how freaking cute the interiors are. This one's all like, um, like fairy tale type stuff, but the art style is so fun and different. Um, super recommend. Uh, $3.99 for the A cover, $4.99 for the rest. Uh, e cover, going to Evan. <clears throat> From 20th Century Fox and association with Marvel, this is Predator. This is issue number two, The Last Hunt. He's going to hunt again. Don't, I mean, to say yeah, the right, last like... hunt, he's going to hunt again. There will be more yeah. hunting going on. Trust me. Hunty. This is number two. <laughs> Oh, this is man. cover B, number two. Yeah, so I did a hunt and, and an insult at the same time. So, is it an insult now? <laughs> I thought it was like, um, like girl, it was like, a, yeah. It's a girl, it's a That's the first time anyone's ever said it in a comic book store. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> on issue 118 from Boom Studios, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, we just got the, what is this? Uh, C cover, I think? Uh, we just got this one this week, um, and it is going for $4.99. Uh, Campbell, I will grab you that primer. Excellent choice. A fine vintage. <laughs> All right, from Marvel, I have a big one. This is The Edge of the Spider-Verse, issue number two. Oh, this is with the spooky man. He's going to be... Spooky, guess what? Like, like an internet creepypasta, like Slenderman. Oh, not the spooky man. I, uh, I'm lost on Marvel lately. I just, you're just, they've lost me so hard. This is even, this is the furthest. Yeah. I'm, the just, covers are cool. It's though. like you kicked me away from wanting to read your books with this title. This is cover A. It's cover B. I like cover B. This is very cool. The kid looks terrified. Are they uh, interiors like that too? Cover C. The interiors are classic. 
Okay. Oh, no, they're a little bit oh. different. Slightly Burton-esque. Yeah. It does look kind of kitty. What do we do? We said this is the C cover. This will be the D cover. The old school. Perfect. And don't forget the Mark Brooks. Extra head. Do you say an... Are you saying spooky man is a spec? Spooky. Oh, it's very spec, yeah. Uh, yeah. Justin posted this thing today. It's the first appearance from Marvel. Um, spooky. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, all right. Can I get uh, two D covers? One for Jesus, one for John. Is it a boy or a D? D. D is in dog. Okay. D is in doggy. Okay. Doggies. Um, from Distillery, we've got some Somna this week. We have, starting off, just, uh, okay. Doesn't look like a reprint. Looks like we just got a restock on some of the polybag variants for Somna issue number two. Sure wish I could show it to you, but it's too spicy. Um, so that's issue number two, the polybag. And then we have new this week is issue number three, starting with our A cover. The B cover, the C cover, that one's fun, and then the D cover, which is also polybagged. Don't get them mixed up. Um, but uh, these big magazines are going for just eight ninety nine. All right, from Marvel, very cool Spider Punk issue number two. <clears throat> this is the Arms Race. Issue number two is going to cost you three ninety nine. This is cover A. This is cover B. And my favorite cover of the week. Boom! boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, the hype button's off. Ah. Let me try it again. My favorite cover of the week. Boom! boom. Spider Punk, Arms Race. This is the C cover. This just looks sick. He's got his little strat there with him hanging out. He's going to burn it up. Get it, Spider Punk. I got both. So I'm going to Evan. Um, oh, D says high school of spider characters. That's really fun. Um, and then Joel says he likes your hat. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Joel. Master Roshi. Master Roshi on there today, bro. Oh, okay. Made it myself. Check out Goku Pan. No big deal. If you want one, it only costs 50 bucks. Every time I see <laughs> you take your hat off, I feel like I'm, like, it feels invasive. Like you don't know me? Yeah. I'm like, ew, who is that? <laughs> is that old guy? I don't know that old man. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, from Image on issue 32, we've got King Spawn. Um, we've got shoe covers. This one, I got it backwards. This one's our B cover, and then this one's our A cover. And as always, they're that low, low McFarland price of just $2.99. Um, is the Somna issue two polybag the Lote? Good question. Let me see. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is the lote. I need spider. Like, C. Okay. B. Okay. Another C. Okay. Another C. Okay. Another C. Okay. And that's it. Gotcha. C B C C C C C C C. C, 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 C. <laughs> All right, from Marvel, got a big one. This is Ultimate Spider-Man issue numero trace. That's number three. In case you. Didn't pass Espinal. Uh, this is going to be a very cool four ninety nine. This is cover A. This is cover B. This is cover C. Doing laundry. Love that. Love that one. Doing laundry. Cover D. MJ on there because she's here still. And E with Uncle Ben. Whoa, e for everyone's cool. favorite uncle, Uncle Ben, who's not dead in this. <laughs> e for A, it's totally fine. <laughs> uh, D, got you that Somna poly bag. Eric would like a Spider-Man A, the ultimate Spider-Man A, por favor. Um, from Marvel on issue 46, we have the amazing okay. Spider-Man. Not ultimate, he's just amazing. Uh, <laughs> but we've got three covers. This one's going to be our A cover. This guy's design always cracks me up. Like, we can't update that a little bit. He's perfect the way he is. Um, our B cover. That one's really pretty. And then our C cover, our Brooks headshot variant. I feel like his forehead is so big. Like, I know he's looking down, but that is that's a lot. Um, and these ones are going for $4.99 each. 
All right, so we got the Ultimate Spider-Man A for Eric, and then can I get a B for Joel, yes. an A and a C for Campbell? Okay. Uh, that's it, actually. That's... All right, I've got more Spider-Man goodness for you. He's not superior. No, he's not uh, ultimate. He's not amazing. He is superior. Sorry, I messed that up. I was trying to be cool. This is uh, issue number five. Number five is going to cost you four ninety nine. This is cover A, and this is what I like cover B. Maybe we'll have some more Spider Man for you. Uh, yes, I need to get both on this. Uh, yes, and Brooks for Campbell. There you go. All right, on number eighteen, Legacy number three hundred. It's Ooh! here. Wait, that's weird. Something's wrong. What's wrong? He's not supposed to be on three hundred yet. There's some weird math. I want to go see the last issue and see what it says. One. Well, the cover says Legacy 300. It's Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Uh, we got six covers for it. So this one's going to be our A cover. The B cover. Basic. The C cover. The D cover. The E cover and the F cover. Uh, what if Miles Morales became the Human Torch? That's fun. Which of these do you think is our like our, our Spider-Man three hundred for this one? Is, well, I feel like they're all just kind of. Is the whatever. last one a what if? But it's, it's like it's, it's a like cover. it's a variant. Yeah, but it's a, it's a what variant if? Of the thing. Huh. I heard that there was some funky numbering going on with Marvel, and they just pushed it to three. That's why I looked at the last one. Oh, to see that. I see. I, like I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, we'll just skip to 88, 89. Because you know. not like they're just going to get there at some point. Anyway. Eventually, like, you're going to get there. Come on. Um, okay, so D. We will remove that song from your account. No worries. All right, <laughs> from Massive. I believe this is, yeah, from Massive, yeah. We have Zorro, Man of the Dead. Your favorite swashbuckler, my favorite swashbuckler. This is cover A. I just learned what that word means, so I'm going to be using it a lot, especially when I talk about Zorro. <clears throat> cover A. Cover B, which is my favorite. This is a really nice one. Oh, looking like damn. A, looking like a man on Look that cover, cleavage. Zorro. <laughs> and then last but not least, cover C, which is also very good. He's got that pointy nose, which... Insinuates comedy. He's going to be a funny guy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, from Dark Horse Comics, we have a one-shot for Star Wars The High Republic Adventures Crash Landing. This is the A cover, and it is the last one that we have on the wall. And it could be yours for $5.99. Or two easy payments of, you know, $2.77. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't do that i'm just kidding um from marvel i have issued number three this is rise of the powers of x part of the fall of x event this is cover a with moira like she didn't know she's gonna get a shot girl you're gonna get shot every time someone sees you you're crazy girl, you're gonna i'm gonna shot. shoot you every time i see you Damn. this is the b polaris That's cover for thing. beautiful polaris oh. this is the c cover team on it the da cover, the da, 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 da cover, and last but not least, the Mark Brooks Ooh. E head shot variant. Man, his eyes. What's up with his eyes? Gambit's got red eyes. Mm. Yeah, Gambit's got red eyes. Red. Look at that deep oh, Remy LeBeau like eyes. Oh yeah. yeah. He, he said, "Look like he's been like smoking from far away." Cyclops was talking shit to him in the new X Men show, and Rogue kind of stepped in and said, said something. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Rogue always come to Gambit. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's like sassy. Damn. Um, can I get two of the D cover for that one, please? Yeah. Um, from Marvel Star Wars, issue number six, it's Obi Wan Kenobi. We've got two covers. This one's the A cover. Love the art on this one. So pretty. A cover. And then. The B, -b, 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 -b cover. Their lightsaber rules. It's the best one. Um, and these ones are going for four ninety nine. Ultimate Spider Man A for Havoc. Got you, got you. 
I make you sleepy. Wake up. Yeah, come on, man. Clean some boots. Spend the money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a cool new one from Marvel. This is very, very hot right now. I, hope, I expect everyone to claim this book. This is X Men '97 cover eight. Ooh. If you didn't see the show, dude, stop. Okay. Wait till we're done. Wait till we're done, and then don't do anything else. Don't cook dinner for your family. Don't, don't pay your bills. Don't Watch do X Men. Don't do your taxes. Nobody cares about that stuff. This is where your life should be right now. X Men '97. This is cover eight. It's going to cost you three ninety nine. This is the beautiful robe cover. I imagine there's going to be a uh, spicy one that's a version of this later. This is the C cover. Got them looking all cool. All right. The D cover for damn, looks good. And the E robe, always, always looking good. Out of the entire show, she's the only gripe I have. But in at least her character, the toy. Mm -hmm. Toy has boobs. <laughs> Rogue's supposed to be hot. Remember uh, that picture with her at Apocalypse and Box was standing over and she was like, oh no. She looked all hot. Can I get the B cover for Stick Place? Yes. Sorry um, for that. Evan says the mini is a prequel to the new show. Yeah, it's a, cool. the in between Z's. So what they did uh, at the end and what they do now. All right, we're getting a lot of requests for this one. Can I get an A, a C, a D, and an E for the Campbells? Good. And then can I get. Smith, A, and Rogue cover. You gotta say which one, Ed. There's two Rogue covers. Uh, so we'll grab an A for Ed. Um, for Joel, can I get an A, B, and C? For Anna, can I get a B? And have it points an A and Rogue. Which Rogue? Can't just say Rogue, guys. I'll go with the, with the B cover. We only have one of those action figure variants, so... If you wanted the rogue action figure variant, you, huh. only got, you didn't say action figure. First one to say action figure, we'll get the action figure. Barrel A but cover. Everyone else has Havoc, the. You gotta tell me which rogue you're talking about first. Come on. Everyone else has this rogue cover. This is what I give to everyone. If you said rogue cover, you got this one. If you wanted the car, the action figure variant, huh. you get the action figure variant. Right. Action. Uh, Campbell uh, says okay, action. Campbell's wants action. Got okay. it. Campbell's. X Men A, C, D, and E. I got them all in the way that you said them. Okay. It'll happen. It'll come get it for us. Got it. All right. Um, uh, number one from Udon. Uh, we've got Street Fighter Masters. Um, this one looks great. I really like the interiors for this, and all the covers are really fun. Um, it's very like a lot like this A cover kind of ink wash style, which is neat to see. Um, so this one's gonna be our A cover. The B cover, the C cover, and then the D cover, cute little red sketch variant. All right, so let's see. Ed asked for the action. It's gone, Ed. Too late. You were too slow. Mm -hmm. Paladin would like a B and E. And then Nuktek is asking for all covers. So we're already out of some yeah we're out of the B cover okay we're out of the B and cover we're out of the action the figure B. but we'll grab you everything else um okay and then street fighter a for joel and b for campbell's well while leo scrounges a bit more Ugh. um i've got a restock that a lot of people were asking for a couple weeks ago. It is DC's Action Comics issue uh, 1063. We were shorted on them for some reason, so we ordered a couple extra just to be safe. So if you missed this issue, and I know a lot of people asked, ta-da, here it is. Um, it's A cover. I love this A cover, actually. It's by John Timms. It's going for $4.99. Um, let's see here. Uh, John, did you get my X-Men covers? Let me look and see which ones you asked for. A and D, yeah, yeah. We we called them out for you. <clears throat> From the fall of X, this is uh, Wolverine issue number forty-three. This is cover A. Cover A is going to cost you four ninety-nine. We have the cover B. Cover C. And. The Mark Brooks. <laughs> that one's so sad. Yeah, this is my that's probably my least favorite one. He looks one. like wet. It's like a bad. He looks like a dad just 
his kids just told him he was a bad dad. Yeah. He's like, mm, I'm a bad he looks dad. Like, he looks like all the heirs leaking out. Uh, I got a Street Fighter A and the Link cover for Havoc. Can I please get a Wolverine A for Ed? Yep. Uh, let's see. Do you mean Wolverine Campbell's? Um, I think it's got Sabretooth in it, but it's the Wolverine series. Um, they're asking for A, B, C, and D. I'm just trying to say. Yeah, stop being broken. Saber Tooth Through the Ages might be the one he's talking about. Okay. Got it, got it. Oh, all right. Issue number four for Marvel. It's Thunderbolts. We got two. This one is the A cover. This one is the B cover. And they are going for $3.99. The Bolts of Thunder. <laughs> the Bolts will be Thunder. All right. I've got some books. Don't get confused. Very easy to follow along. I have the seventh printing. Seventh printing. <sighs> Of Void Rivals, issue number one. Who needs to print their book seven times? Void Rivals do. Because do they? we still got some first printings around here. Thanks. Maybe they don't need to. But it's very cool. And it's got all the good stuff that you know about the first issue. Especially that cool moment with the giant robot that I probably shouldn't speak of. It's got voids. It's got rivals. It's got Whoa! Transformer robots in it. Tell anybody I told you it's the seventh printing. It's a secret. <laughs> All right. And then also we have the sixth printing of issue numero dos. That's number two. This is the only one we got. Wow. And the newest one, which is a third printing of issue number six. So no new Void Rivals this week. But if you want to catch up and you miss stuff, here you go. All these are going to run you a very cool $3.99. So catch up. One, two, and six. One, two, and six. So you best have three, four, and five on your own. You better. man. All right. And then last book of the wall for the week. We've got a new one. This one um, features art by Mirka and Dolfo. And it's from Image. It is under York. Flip through it. This feels a little different for Mirka. Um, We got a lot of darker colors. Um, Some more intense framing. Feels a little bit more grounded than I'd say something like Blasphemous or uh, Sweet Paprika does. We're touching a little bit more in the mercy side of things. But this book looks great. We'll mark a jazz for. And it is going for $3.99. And with that, that is the wall. Yay! 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 Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, everyone. You made it to the second half of our show. Um, second half of the show. <laughs> Oops, I pushed the wrong button. I'm sorry, I pushed the wrong Leo, button. I, I meant to use that on the um, Bad Idea comic books. Sorry. There you go. That was <laughs> Did y'all like having the wall gone last time? Because I, I enjoyed sitting down and not doing it <laughs> Yeah. But I don't want to do it if it's going to deter y'all from uh, I don't know, participating. Okay, so X-Men 97 has been out for like almost a week now. I imagine everyone has seen it. Everyone. Everyone has seen it. Because I was talking to Justin the other day, and he said he would even have a conversation with somebody if they weren't talking about it. So oh my God. I feel like everyone should have seen it by now. That explain why he just stared at me. <laughs> That's why he wouldn't talk to you yesterday. Yeah. You weren't talking about X-Men 97. I like, so I am on that train right now. That's all I want to talk about. If you have a favorite part, or maybe even a favorite character, let me know. Just no, 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 don't spoil anything. DM but... Leo your favorite part of X Men Nineteen. Yes, and we will talk for hours, bro. Get a discount on the hats. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a one percent discount on the hats. Give you a free stitch. Wow. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I think that's a bad idea to give discounts on stuff. Is I just want to sell it for a flat rate. I'm not that mathematical. I can't do ethical things. I, I, no. Computer tells me what to give. Um, since we're on the subject right. here, Let me we're going to do in. the first Let's book see. of the day. Guess what it's going to be? This is uh, X-Men 97. Oh, look at the split gene. There you go. X-Men 97. This is number one. This is one in 25. This is by Young. 15 bucks. We got quite a few of them. Looks like we got at least seven or eight. Get your Pex Murray. 
Havoc says I can sit down. I might just do it Havoc next week too. for you, Havoc. I feel like Havoc could say so in here. That's cool. No, no, it's too soon for that. <laughs> All right. For $15, we also have Jackpot and Black Cat, issue number one, one in 25, by Via Lobos. Can I just say that I hate her name, Jackpot? I think that's 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 really Jackpot. I, what's her, like, does she have a power? Or like, what's her I think name? she has luck-based powers, like oh, Domino, okay. sort of. Um, I don't like that. Just, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I wish that that was reflected in her costume better. Yeah, some her costume. Yeah, because black cat. Look at that. That's She's got the, the mane and the, yeah, like yeah. it looks like a black cat. I think, I think Jackpot's got like this little like diamond like playing card kind of vibe. Oh, okay. And that's cute, but I I wish they refined it a little bit more because yeah. then then the name would would hit better. It makes sense. Yeah. I got to tell you about my my character Jackpot that I created. I only say that because she's a huge contrast against my character Jackpot uh, that I created a long time ago. Okay. Me and my buddy Jake used to work at this little tiny crappy restaurant, and we used to come up with all these ideas for shows and sitcoms and stuff. Uh -huh. And we came up with this character named Jackpot. Uh -huh. He was like an ex hardcore gangster cholo who came out of jail, and now he's like Jackpot, mija. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Everything to him is like Jackpot. I love that. <laughs> so that's like his whole catchphrase. The accent really breaks it. <laughs> Yeah, because he's a cholo. Uh, well, he used to be a cholo, but it's so good. I'll tell you the whole rest of it. It's, Please, it's great. Yes. For 10 bucks, we have Cemetery Kids Do, Don't Die. This is issue number two, and this is by Ekman Lawn. This is a version of the very nice cover we saw earlier. Over here. All right, five bucks. Five bucks is the price of the, the regular comic. This is Duke, number four. The Campbell's Collect Action. Is that a new thing, Jean? What's that? What's the Campbell's Collect Action? On your screen. Look at the screen. How did that get there? Yeah. What'd you do, Campbell? Are you invading us? <laughs> Is that a super chat? I think I accidentally clicked on this comment. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. Heavy Meadow, let's start this again. Five bucks, Duke number four, one in ten, by Boss. You got like four copies. Looks like Evan Meadow wants one. One for Evan. Duke. Mm -hmm. Get your typing fingers ready. I got a bunch of these. Uh, this is the book of the week. I swear this has got to be the book of the week. Look at all these ratios. Oh, one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve of these guys. This is Feral number one. Get your copy for seven dollars. This is a one in ten ratio variant by Fosner and Fleeks. Version of the A cover. That's nice for comics. I didn't see that like comment come through. Normally, hmm. I just saw it like pop up like that. So there's an extra comic for six. Ah. For twenty bucks, we have your copy of Gods G O D S. This is Gods number six. This is one in fifty ratio variant by Brooks once again. And I want to say that this is uh, Electra. For ten dollars, going with DC, we've got Power Girl issue number seven. This is the one in twenty-five by Bognadov. Bognadov, that's and that's adorable. That's we should, really cute. We're gonna put this on our on our little cat rack with the other oh, cat stuff, yeah. so that the, the little stray cats can see that they they can be loved by people. It's the feral and acetate cover. Uh, no, the it, it's um, that one's just a plain old virgin. Uh, Power Line Twenty Five for Campbell's. Nice. And normally she's really like busty. She's got a little she stuff just, going on in the back right now. I right? know. <laughs> she can have double action though. Oh That's yeah, really get it, girl. Like Work it. All right, from Marvel, thirteen bucks. We've got X Force number fifty. This is the one in twenty five ratio variant by Perez. We got the Wonder Man. We got the Beast. Hopefully they're teaming up again because they were great before. This guy's look is very good. <laughs> Wonder Man. He's hilarious. He's a movie actor. He's a big fancy movie star. From 20th Century Fox in association with Marvel, we have Predator Last Hunt number two. This is one in 25 by Shalvi. 13 bucks. We got two of these. The Predator. Get them. The Predator. Got that X Force Cables. <clears throat> Sweet. All right. 
ten dollars. We have Rise of Powers of X. This is number three in the one in twenty-five ratio variant by Bradshaw. Jeans looking in trouble, and that's a new outfit. Not Jean looking up. <laughs> she's just like, what? Like, I don't know what to do. Use my powers. No, Jean at the table. Oh, Jean at the table. Oh, hey, Jean. Hey, Jean. Hi there. Love you. For 20 bucks. Uh, this is Batman Dark Age number one. One in 25 ratio variant by Al Red. We've got three of these. Get your various types of Batman on. Maybe we got a jungle Batman in there. Is it a jungle Batman? Yo, what? Batman of the jungle. <laughs> All right. For 30 bucks, check this out. This is a nice good one. This is cable issue number three, one in 50 ratio variant. This is the Mark Brooks sketch variant. This is 30 bucks, cable. Hobby later. Hobby later. <laughs> we'll say four hay we'll later. This is four hay. <laughs> oh, that's expensive. All right, 60 bucks. This is a pretty good deal. This is a $60 book, Rise of Powers of X, number three. This is the Silva Virgin. This is a one in 100. $60. Did I say one in 100 twice? I don't know. No, don't judge me. No. Except Evan, maybe. Evan. Evan, <laughs> I grabbed you that Batman. Yep, Batman. All right, nice. All right, for $13, this is God's G-O-D-S, number six. One in 25 ratio variant by Hans. We got three of these. This is really nice. There's a lot of reflection in the glass. Looks really cool. Mystical, even. From DC. For $7, Detective Comics 1083. This is the one in 25 by Fiumara. 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 F-I-U-Mara. <laughs> 20 bucks for hey this is rise of powers of x this is issue number three the mark brooks sketch extra head variant this is for hey or if you if you don't speak spanish it's forge i have no idea how to say forge in spanish no idea <laughs> We're getting there for 10 bucks. Harley Quinn issue number 38, one in 25 ratio variant by Torque. Obsessed. She's hot. She's hot. <laughs> she says that's your homie this jackpot. jackpot. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Who? Oh, <laughs> no, that's Forge. 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 No, it's totally jackpot. <laughs> this is so cute. Check this out 60 bucks. Boom, that's just a flat white with Wolverine on it. This is Wolverine number 43, the second printing. This is 1 in 25 ratio variant by Basaldua. Basaldua. Ratio on a second printing. Nice. Something for burger on the cover. Oh, Wolverine for camels. Nice. Not even hitting the wall. Nice. Good job, camels. All right, for 35 bucks, we've got Harley Quinn, number 38, 1 in 50 ratio variant by Rincion. Rincione. It's got an E at the end. It makes me think it's fancy. Rincione. We're just Rincion. It's fine with me. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> All right, for 10 doll hairs, get your Spider Punk issue number two. This is a 1 in 25 ratio variant by Manhanini. Ooh. Cool cover. I like that one with his Miss Strat, though. It's nice. We'll turn it up a bit. Hunter Bucks. Hunter Bucks, baby. Oh, yeah. Boom! Look at that pretty girl, pretty lady with the white hair and the brown hair and the muscles. And the... This is... Look at those. She... This is what Rogue's supposed to look like. This is a one hundred dollar ratio. This is X Men ninety seven number one one in one hundred ratio. This is the Harvey Virgin of the very nice cover we seen earlier. We have two of them, so get yours now. It's 
So if you only got one of these, 30 bucks. Duke number four, one in 50 ratio variant by Oliver. 30 bucks. This is number four. Okay. Yeah. Wow, eighty-five dollars. Check this out. This is Sabretooth doing brain surgery on Wolverine. What's this is the cover hell? that we saw earlier. This is from cover B, but without the trade dress, it looks so much better. Again, eighty-five bucks. Wolverine number forty-six, one in one hundred. The U Virgin. Ah, is is Wolverine incapable of getting like brain surgery because he's just going to heal? Hmm. Curious about that. Is that gonna stick, Cable? Is that is that surgery gonna stick? I'm curious. All right, somebody let me know who this guy is, because I cannot remember. Uh, for fifteen bucks, we have Duke number fourteen. This is one in twenty-five ratio variant by mm -hmm. Clark. We got three of these guys, so feel free to jump in and grab it. You're telling me that's not him? That's not Duke, right there? It's not Duke. Nope. Duke's blonde and blue-eyed and handsome. <laughs> okay. And, and he's, he's, he's in the army and. He wears camouflage so nobody can see him. Uh, <laughs> For twenty-five dollars, this is a very, very cool cover. This is Rise of Powers of X, number three. This is a one in fifty ratio variant by Baldari. We got two of these, so yeah, it's your Polaris, daughter of Magneto. Is she still the daughter of Magneto? Or did they retcon that? I don't know. I haven't been following him this man. Ah, oh, that character's name is Major Blood. Ah, yeah, Major Blood. Major oh, thanks, player. Evan. Major Blood. It's pretty metal. All right, for 12 bucks, we got the Book of the Week. Feral, number one. This is 1 in 25 ratio variant by Sweeney Boo. Sweeney Boo. It's very nice. This is a very cool cat cover. Check it out. Sweeney Boo is so good at animals. I just love her name. Is that a female? Is it a lady or is it a... Yeah, she, okay. like, uh, Sweeney Boo, I don't think is, like, it's, like, not, like, her government name. I think yeah. that's her, like, Twitter name, and okay. then she uses it from her and stuff. Nice. Good right. idea. Pharaoh, 1 in 25, going to Paul and Lars and Paladin. All right. What's up, Artie? What's up, Artie? All right, for twenty-five doll hairs, we have your one in twenty-five ratio variant of Miles Morales, Spider-Man number eighteen. This art is by Andrews. And looks like we got like six of these guys. So come on and get them. Come on, don't be shy. Whoa! Wow, this is a banger. For twenty-five bucks, dude. I don't want to show you that. Just no, like, too late. Do it. Okay, okay. Here we go. 25 bucks. Check it out. Amazing Spider-Man, number 46, 1 in 50 ratio variant. This is going to be the Brooks Sketch Virgin variant. And, you know, it's your boy Spider-Man. So, you know, you can copy this and, and learn how to draw Spider-Man with it. Or you there can you color go. it. Or just, draw the face. That's what they're neat. Yeah, just draw it over and over and over again. And then you could be like, one day you could be at like a bar hanging out and like drinking beer. And you could like draw it on the chalkboard. Some people do. What? Who would do that? I don't know. Uh, Got Miles, one in 25. <laughs> going to Evan and uh, Jerson. Sorry. Um, oh, no. Wait. Getting all mixed up. Give me a little bit of this one. Uh, yeah. There we go. Every all time. right. For 30 bucks, once again, the book of the week. Feral number one. This is a one in fifty ratio variant. This is by Foster and Fleeks. Do you know what movie that one's for? I don't. Like, it's so cool. This is definitely a movie. Yeah. Where you at, Evan? Lars wants a one in fifty of Feral. Feral one in fifty. New hours. All right, let's do this one. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them. Huh? I mean, that's you. You can swear on here. Yeah. You just can't say too many sexy words because in, in the box. Like, yes. That's why we can't have Candido on the show. That's why. All right. Makes sense now. Because he's too sexy. <laughs> too sexy. <laughs> For nine bucks, we got the Street Fighter Masters Akuma versus Ryu, number one. This is one in five ratio variant for nine bucks. This is by Coelho. We got quite a few of these. Get it. You're Ryu versus Akuma. You oh. killed my master. Now, I will defeat you. Street Fighter for Larry. Evan says he doesn't know that one. Which one? The 
the feral. Oh, the feral, yeah. Man, now I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared, Evan. <laughs> Evan says Street Fighter. All right. Okay. For 25 bucks. Edge of Spider Verse number two. This is a one in 50 ratio variant by La Roca. I'm not sure what's going on, but he's got a metal arm with no hand. Is that a hand? Is that a hand? Is he, why is he all stitched up? He's from the edge, and you know, it's the Spider Verse. So anything can happen. Yeah. As long as you're a Spider Person. <laughs> Only for Spider People. You've seen the movies, right? The Spider Verse movies? Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh. Check it out. We got a couple of these. Nope. Oh, close to this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ultimate. Um, not superior. Not amazing. Ultimate. This is Ultimate Spider Man. Uh, this is going to be $13 copy of issue number three. Going for. Oh, geez. I messed that one up real bad. Sorry. <laughs> 13 bucks. Get your copy of Ultimate Spider Man number three, one in 25 ratio variant by land. If you have several of these, get yours. Right meow. <laughs> Struggling there with my lingles and my tongues. It's tough. Uh -huh. I'm so brave. It's hard speaking English on a regular basis. <laughs> Street Fighter one is five. This is going to happen. Man, we went through this week fast. Got dinner to get. I'm so hungry. Oh. For $35, we got Daredevil issue number seven. It's one in 50 Brooks Sketch Virgin variant. Pretty sure that's going to be Black Widow on the cover there. That hair looks good. I like that mm -hmm. one. That's one that, one that I do like. Yeah. All right, do some cheapies before we do some expenses. Eight bucks. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number 118, one in 10 ratio variant by Baren, Barenz, 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 Barenz. That's it. Fancy. I'm good at faking like I know. <laughs> All right, check out this is cool. I would love to color this. This would be really awesome. For 25 bucks, get your copy of the Incredible Hulk issue number 10. This is a 150 sketch Brooks variant, which I think this would be really cool to color. You make I mean, eyes. you can make him a purple Hulk if you wanted to. There you go. You know, purple Put a Hulk hat with, on him, with gold so hair or something. Yeah, and like Super Saiyan Hulk. I mean, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, we do take, like, high-resolution scans of these. We can just take those images and print them out. Them out. <laughs> you color your own! Yeah, yeah, I like it. We should do that. That's cool. Good idea. Whoa! They get right. hit with a DMC <laughs> from Marvel. Yeah, right? A cease and desist. <laughs> Stop immediately. This is our stuff. For 15 bucks, we've got Somna. This is issue number three. One in ten ratio variant by Rios. I love that one. It's so pretty. Mm. I like the flower. It just looks good. Simple and elegant. Yeah. Plus, it's got a, it's got a little bit of etching. You can't see it on the camera, but this red one's got a little bit of etching in it. There's a little texture in there. Just the red one. All right, for 10 bucks, I think we have the first cover appearance of that new character. What was it? Is scary that guy? No, scary guy isn't horror? That him on the other one? Horror on the A cover? Spooky Man. Spooky Man, yeah. <laughs> spooky Man is so stupid. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I don't know. Is, that, is he Spooky Man? The, is that not. Oh my God. Looks like a. He looks Venom. spooky. Looks like a Venom. Also, in, also featuring Cyborg Spider Man. <gasps> Holy moly. Maybe that's a Cyborg Maybe that's, Yeah, yeah that's, that's so Cyborg. Oh boy, get your copy today. Make sure you run and get it because this is going to be a huge hit. <laughs> For $10, get your copy of Edge of Spider Verse number two, one in 25, ratio variant by Yagawa. Yagawa. Get it? Check it out. Yagai. By Yagai. Wow. All right. 25 bucks. Edge of Spider Verse number two, one in 50. This is the Brooks headshot variant. $25. Spider Woman. She looks good too. I like her. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Hey. 
This one got mixed in. No, it's okay. It's not your fault. It got mixed in. Um, Somno, number three, one in 25 by Citria. $35. So pretty. Um, Edge of Spider Verse 2 cover. Uh, two of the 1 in 25s, you mean? Because that's okay. We can do that. All right. For 40 bucks, we've got Jackpot and Black Cat number one. This is a 1 in 50 ratio variant by Hildebrandt. Don't worry. They're almost over. They're almost over. Maybe next week. Do Maybe. you want these to be over, Liam? I do. Are you, you're I'm, sick of them? I'm ready for them to be over. Uh, a cover issue two. Okay. Um, I can try to pull up three. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to get to the big books right after this one. Maybe. For 20 bucks, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 46, the 1 in 25 ratio variant by Cho. This is very cool. Cool 3 d Yeah. Lovely composition. <laughs> For $25, this is Street Fighter Masters Akuma vs. Ryu, number one, the one per store. This is the retailer appreciation variant. So they, they love us. They appreciate us. Wow. Those retailers, such nice people. Such nice people. Right? Don't say, right? Don't say anything bad about the retailers. <laughs> oh, I missed one. It never happened. 12 bucks. Not amazing, not fantastic, not unlimited, not uncanny. He is superior, Spider Man. He is. Issue number five is one in twenty-five by Brown. This is only going to cost you twelve bucks. Look at those spider arms. They're scary. We're going to turn it up. Turn it up. Eighty-five bucks, and we'll throw in the top loader. Eighty-five bucks. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number eighteen. This is one in fifty. This is by eighty Granoff. Yes, yes, I'm loving this. Sick. That guy's sick. Uh, we got one of these one in fifties going to Danny. Nice. Hell yeah, Danny. Get it, boy. I heard you were at game on. I didn't see you. Uh, how was that game on? Yeah. Why didn't you come look at my table, jerk? It Oh, yeah, you were in the... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was busy. No, I got you. I'm just here. I was trying to sell stuff. That con was like bananas. bananas. For 50 bucks. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 46. This is the 1 in 100 ratio variant. This is the John Romita Jr. Virgin variant, which is very cool. I don't mind that... Oh, and this I can't even tell if it's Electro as a female or a male. Look at that. But they, in Marvel Snap, they made her female, and I'm okay with Ooh. it. Because it's kind of hard to... It's a little to... ambiguous. Yeah. I, this reads is very masculine to me. But mm -hmm. I can see how, how you can see it both ways. Yeah. There's it's really... Fun. I mean, he's got chest, but not like tetas. You know? Could For those be a sports bra. You never know. Could be a sports I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you just push your sports bra on and you're like, that's a different guy. I don't know that guy. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Where my titties go? I learned a new joke from the internet. You probably heard it already. Mm -hmm. How does a non binary person commit murders? How? They slash them. <laughs> <laughs> How have I not heard that one before? <laughs> it was so good. Oh, that's. Oh. I said it. I was leaving work yesterday to a guy. He knew it. I was like, fuck. I hate you. Get out. You're cut off. That's <laughs> so funny. Ten bucks. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, 118. The one per store. This is by Montez, and it's only ten bucks. Black Ranger helmet, lightning. Pretty cool. Okay. We have the Book of the Week and Banger of the Week. So we're going to do the Book of the Week first, just because the Banger is more expensive. Ba -ba 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 for $100, get your copy of our book of the week. This is Feral number one, 
the 1 in 100 ratio variant by Fosner and Fleeks. Don't forget to come to the shop tomorrow and get yourself a nice, lovely little kitten because we're going to be celebrating the release of this yeah. book. You Phoenix Cat Cafe is going to be here. I'm so sorry. I'm going to be wearing my kitty oh, ears. God. I'm going to bring catnip and just start sprinkling it everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle catnip everywhere. Are you familiar with um, silver coin? Uh -uh. It's, 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 um, it's like catnip, but it's like a dried out stick, this like piece of vine. And you can just get a vial of these sticks. Cats go freaking. Yes. Oh my god. And yes. I have to sweep them up off the floor. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. Well, we got the biggest, baddest, blackest, most incentivious cover of the evening. This is Miles Morales issue number 18, one in 100 ratio variant. This is the Insignia Virgin for 250. Smoking doll hairs. Mm -hmm. Look at that. If you ever you ain't got a plain cover, get your plain black cover with just a spider on it. This yeah. spider is gonna get you. Spider. Oh no! Oh no! We're empty box. Oh no! Again, in case you missed a, the announcement at the beginning, uh, no keys again this week because they're all going to TCAT in Tucson on Saturday. That's the thirtieth. Oh, is it Tucson Comics and Toys show? Mm. Um, so go to that. I've heard it's really good. Ben's going to be there. He's going to have all the juicy keys, and you can get them there. Um, join us tomorrow. The uh, Arizona um, Cat Cafe is going to be here, and they will be here from 3 p.m. until 7 p.m. This is <clears throat> computers, maybe? There you go. That's such a weird we want the entire thing really. without it, so yeah, right. Pretty good. Um, so again, that's going to be from three to seven tomorrow. If you're allergic to cats, maybe come Thursday. Um, <laughs> we'll try to glue up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good one, and we'll see you again next Tuesday with more stuff. Let's see, was there an ASM number twenty-five? Oh, too Sorry, soon. I too soon. Saw that. Um, Just geez. there, ASM. Um, yeah. Let me check the sheets. Okay. We're checking. We're checking. We're checking. We're checking. You guys want to hear a cool sound? Hmm. Hmm. Um, it looks like, yes, Amazing Spider-Man 46, 125 by Chose. Okay. okay. Oh, that was the, like, the orange one. Let me see. Yeah. Bye, Artie. Yeah, $125, $20. There gotcha. you go. Gotcha, okay, Shabazz. Bye. Bye, this time we mean it seriously. Bye.